Spencer slept in one end of the house, and Spencer slept in the other end of the house, and he apparently got up to go and make himself a cup of tea, and the kettle was always boiling on the stove. I heard him get up. I'm a very light sleeper. And uh, I heard him go into the kitchen, so I put on my slippers and robe and went out to the kitchen, and as I was standing before the kitchen door, I heard a clunk in the other room, and Spencer was dead. He'd fallen down near the stove and was just dead. And then I called Mrs. Tracy and the kids, and they came, and uh, they made the arrangements. That night was the first time that you met Mrs. Tracy. Yes. Did Mrs. Tracy know of your relationship? I'm sure she must have sort of gathered about my relationship, but she refused to accept it. I could understand that. And she had done what I would have done in the same situation. I would have taken care of Charlie, and I would have lost Spencer. So you can't... Uh, I don't think she... You know, what do you do? You can't be definite about everything in life. You did not go to Spencer Tracy's funeral? No, but it, but I was not his wife. Has there ever been a man since Spencer Tracy who no. really interested you? No, no, but I mean, then I was old, so it didn't matter. You weren't that old. You were in your, what, 50s? Mm. That's yeah, well, it's still I'd, possible. If I'd been interested in tying myself up with someone, but I felt that I had perfection, so why bother? You know, there are pictures of him and mementos of him, you know, all over the house. Yet, you wrote a letter about him, which you read on public television. Yes. In which you said, I never knew you, I never knew you. I don't think I ever did, but then I don't think you ever know anybody. Since we're never going to know you totally, could you finish this sentence for me? Catherine Hepburn is adorable. <laughs> What do you want me to say? Or is it jackass? Which do you prefer? The last one. It's safer. <laughs> I'm crazy about you, Catherine Hepburn. Jackass or adorable? Well, you're very sweet. You're very sweet. You always call me Miss Hepburn and I call you Barbara. So why don't you shift and call me Kate? I'd like that. 